All right, turning to this. Sixers clinch the third with a win. If they lose to the Bucks, the Cavs take the third with a win over New York. Who's more likely to be the East three seed? Are we looking at Philly or are we looking at Cleveland? I think we're looking at Philly, and we just left Joe Prunty, and it's interesting. He's got Malcolm Brogdon back tonight. He's actually got uh, Della Vadova back tonight. But I do like Philadelphia. I think they're playing at an incredibly high level. I think what's fascinating is Ben Simmons in the midst of this. J.J. Redick has obviously given them great scoring. Uh, but we were just talking to Brett Brown. He's like, listen, you throw all the variables out. At the end of the day, when this game is over, you want to have played the way you want to play and you want to win the basketball game. I, I think Philly wins. And for a lot of different reasons, you guys have probably discussed what's in play for Milwaukee. So I think Philly. Oh, we're getting to that, DB. Thanks so much. Enjoy yeah. the game. Uh, yeah, the Thanks, three seed. Yeah. Who do you think? Sixers or Cavs? I think, I think the Sixers. You do? I really do. Yeah, they're just playing so well. They're playing so well. The momentum that we all know can just really carry you. You're at home. That crowd is going to be phenomenal up there tonight. Great home court advantage, and I think they get it done. We need some popcorn and nachos in the back because we disagree again. (laughs) 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 Really? I think Minnesota's going to win tonight. You heard DB. Minnesota? Wait, what? I mean, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Absolutely. Them too. (laughs) You did think Minnesota too. Yeah, yeah. She mentioned it. Malcolm Brogdon. The return, the reigning rookie of the year oh. returns to now play with Bledsoe and the Greek freak. Yellow Chris Middleton is having a career season. That mask is sweet. I think they find a way to get it done. There are going to be a lot of people at home saying, I see you, Sonny Hill, in the back, OG. Yeah, yeah, you see Sonny. No question. Always got a fat brim on. <laughs> but people are going to be at home saying, why are Milwaukee playing the Greek freak? Why are they playing their players? Here's why. They keep their first-round pick. They get the sixth seed. So That's the Milwaukee big. Bucks have something to play for. That's why so I'm picking much. them. Yeah, but I just don't see why would they want to play Greek Freak. I mean, you know, if they lose tonight, then it sets up a possible date with Boston. I think you would probably want to so say. So you don't value the first round pick? I just told you Well, why. the first round pick. I, Come on, Paul. Yeah, there's value <laughs> to it. Come on, Paul. There's don't more do that. value to it. <laughs> But, you know, we have our foundation here. I mean, we can, we can use a first-round oh, pick, they got the, Just remember, they got Greek Freak at the 15th pick. Of yeah, some I mean, that's years always ago. valuable, and you always want to play to win. But, you know, this is the time of year where you play for your slots, and you, look, you try to see what's a more favorable matchup. You know, a healthy Toronto team who's playing very well or a banged-up well, Boston team in the first they round. Can, so, there's, there, you know, they have to weigh they can fall to the, seven the pros and, still and cons get beat by Boston. here. We have, we have but I don't see them beating time. Philly today anyway because Philly has the urgency to want to be the third seed, so they don't have to run into a healthy Toronto team in the second round if they make the first Milwaukee. round. Milwaukee, so, you know. Well, uh, the good news is, guys, we have 49 they're gonna more beat, minutes they're gonna of show beat, left. They're going to beat. Okay. We will get to all of okay. this. Ooh, now we're